watching HHTV Sport, bringing you exclusive live sporting events from the past. Today is football, and time to go over to the 1950s to join our reporter who's about to meet a very special player. I've come to 1951, where I'm here to interview the greatest English football striker of all time. It... Sorry, do you mind moving along, please, love? You just clear off. I'm here to interview the all-time greatest English football striker. Are you looking at her? <laughs> what, really? Yeah. My name's Lily Parr. I scored over 900 goals in my career. I scored 43 goals in my first season, and we're only 14 at time. Wow, that's impressive. In 1920, 53,000 people turned up at a ladies' match at Goodison Park, and I was star attraction. Well, should we, uh, should, we, should we carry on the interview then? Let's do this. OK. <clears throat> so, Lily, tell us, how did your career start? Well, when all the men went off to fight in First World War, women's football came right popular. I worked at a munitions factory and I played for the ladies' football team. We used to draw huge crowds. I see, but uh, when the war ended and the men came back, I imagine everyone went back to watching men's football. No, no, you see, the ladies' game was still really popular. So popular, in fact, that in 1921, the Football Association got nervous that we were threatening the male game, so they banned women from playing at official league grounds. Oh, that is a shame, isn't it? Well, let's be honest, men are better at football than women, aren't they? Listen, mate. I've played against men at exhibition matches, and I'm telling you now, I've got a harder shot than any of them. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, I do think so. Well, I don't. This is Tony Codger reporting for HHTV News. Oh, oh, she's not wrong. She's got a kick like a flipping mule. Oh.